Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the part of the world where you are today. Welcome back to my channel. I trust you had a great day. Today I want to encourage us to be grateful for today. Irrespective of what is going on, irrespective of the challenges you're facing, irrespective of the disappointment that you are experiencing, I want to encourage you, be grateful for this day. Our God is good. And all he does is good. God does not do evil. Whatever it is that is going on with you, I know there is still something you can be grateful for. Is it the gift of life? Is it the gift of a family of loved ones? Is it the gift of men? Is it the gift of support? Is it the gift of sound mind? Is it the fact that you are healthy or your family is healthy? Or you are even able to do what others cannot do. I'm sure you have one or two things to be grateful for. And I want to encourage you, find that thing and continuously give thanks to God for it. I remember a few years ago, my husband and I lost our jobs and there was no income coming into the family. It looked bleak. It looked hopeless. You know, the situation seemed as if there is nothing to be grateful for. And to think that we were pastoring a church and you know as pastors as leaders you still have to preach to people on sundays you still have to teach you still have to lead worship and still tell people that god is good and not just say it because you need to say something to the people you have to say it convincingly what kept me through those times was looking at what the lord has done i kept reminding my husband that we still have something to be grateful for Everybody has their own waiting period. What you're waiting for is different from what I'm waiting for. But we are all definitely waiting for something. So I told my husband, we are not waiting for marriage. We are not waiting for children. Thank God we have those things. We even have joy. Despite the difficulties we're going through, we still have joy. We still have peace in our home. We still have this companionship. So I told him the devil has failed. Because we have so many things to be grateful for. So instead of focusing on the things that were not working, on the fact that even on some days, we didn't have money to buy bread, a loaf of bread. We refused to look at those things. We just focused our mind on the fact that God is faithful. He has seen us through worse situations before and he's going to see us through again. And I don't know the kind of situation you might find yourself today. I want to encourage you. Take your eyes off your problem and focus it on God. Thank him for what you have now. Is it sound mind you have? Thank him for that. Do you have a house? Do you have a car? Do you have a job? Do you have something you can still thank the Lord for? Focus on that and continuously thank him for that. And before you know it, every other thing you are trusting him for will come to you in Jesus' name. Psalm 145 verse 17 says, The Lord is righteous in all his ways. And faithful in all he does. That is the NIV version. Another version says, Our Lord, everything you do is kind and thoughtful. That's the contemporary English version. Everything the Lord does is kind and thoughtful. It's thought for you and I are of good to give us an expected end. So sometimes our expected end can pass through the valley of the shadow of death. That does not mean that the Lord has left us. He is always with us. He will never leave us. The book of Deuteronomy 32, 4 says, He is the rock. His work is perfect. For all his ways are justice. A God of truth and without injustice. Righteous and upright is he. That is our God. All his work are just. All his work is good. Another version, the NIV says, He is the rock. His works are perfect. And all his ways are just. A faithful God who does no wrong. Upright and just is he. God is perfect. He does not do wrong. If you are passing through a difficulty right now, a challenging period right now, I want to encourage you that God is still working things out for your good. Don't look at yourself and say, oh, 
Maybe God has forgotten me. God can never forget you. The Bible says, even if a mother forgets a suckling child, God will not forget us. He has inscribed us on his palm. How can something be on your palm and then you forget that thing? It is impossible. God has not forgotten you. Everything the Lord does, it is good to give us an expected end. So you still have something to be grateful for. I don't want you to believe I have nothing to be grateful for. Even if you lost your job, you still have something to be grateful for. You have your certificate. You have a sound mind. You have resources that can help you to get another job. And most importantly, you have God on your side. Don't let the devil distract you from focusing on God and to focus on your problem, on your challenges, on your trouble. Every one of us are going to enter the waiting room at one point or the other. And when you enter the waiting room, the duration of our waiting is different. But at the end of the day, it's called waiting, not staying room. At a point, you are going to leave that waiting room to your destination. Don't let the devil make you feel that your waiting room is your staying room. Or deceive you to take a shortcut. Because eventually, that can cause your waiting room to become a staying room. Decide to be grateful, irrespective of where you find yourself. Every day, find something to be grateful to the Lord for. I was telling a colleague today, I said, I thank God for good health. I thank God for giving my children good health because thousands of children at their age are going through a lot of health challenges. But God has been able to keep these ones even when we were not there with them. God is a faithful father. Amen. James 1 17 says, every good and perfect gift is from above, is from God. And comes down from the Father of light, with whom there is no variation, nor shadow of turning. The NLT version says, whatever is good and perfect is a gift coming down to us from God, our Father. Who created all the light in the heavens, he never changes nor casts a shifting shadow. It's humans that will say, I will do this today, and tomorrow they will say they can't do it again. Good gift comes from God. So whatever you have that is a gift, don't see it as you being able to get it because of your power, because of your strength, because of your intellect. It comes from above. Find a reason to be grateful. Remember, my brothers and my sisters, there is always something to be grateful for. Do not develop a mindset of ingratitude. That makes you believe and see the worst of all situations. Some of us, they will give us a half glass of water. All we see is the empty part. We cannot appreciate the fact that we still have some water to drink. You may not have reached where you want to be. You may not have fulfilled your dreams and aspirations. But you are on the way to fulfilling it. Be grateful for that. Even for the grace to have a sound mind and to dream and visualize what you will be in the future. Be grateful to the Lord for that too. Always look out for the silver lining in whatever situation you find yourself. When anything happens, instead of looking at the worst case scenario, always look at the silver lining. Ah, thank God for this. Despite all this that is happening, I still thank God for this. That will help us to be joyous and wait patiently on the Lord, even when things are not working the way we want it to. There is always something to be grateful for. Tell yourself that. There is always something to be grateful for in every situation and every circumstances. So I want to ask you, what are you grateful for today? What are you grateful for today? Remember, the Bible says, in all things, give thanks, for this is the will of God for us. In all things, the good, the bad, the ugly, let us learn to give thanks. Because we know that God will make everything to work together for our good. Everything is going to work together for your good. So I want to ask you again, what are you grateful for today? Come on. Think about what you're grateful for. That in says, count your blessings, name them one by one. 
by the time you start counting your blessings, it will open your eyes to the great things the Lord has done. Many of us do not count our blessing, but we count the blessing of our neighbors. We count the blessing of our friends, of our co-workers. We are not counting our blessing. And do you know the funny thing? Your own blessing is even much more than those people whose blessings you are counting. So focus on your own self. Count your blessing and give thanks to the Lord for what he has done. I want you to type in the comment section what you are grateful for today. For me, I'm grateful for life. I'm grateful for sound mind. And I'm grateful for the gift of a family. Hallelujah. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, to share, to comment, and to subscribe to this channel if this has blessed you. Have a great day, Father. Shalom.